again. It's a red stick. Welcome back to another video. So today's video is a little collab that I'm doing with the Nutty Nail Co. So as always, there'll be a playlist pinned in my comments of um, everyone that's done videos. A lot of the ladies are just on Instagram as well. Um, so the theme for this one was holiday. Um, so I've gone a little bit off piste kind of with mine and I've gone with my dream holiday which would be Disneyland, Florida. I was actually meant to go when I was a teenager, got a kidney infection and couldn't go. <laughs> and all my cousins and everybody got to go and I didn't. Oh. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with it. So, my tips about a base coat. I've pulled out a few Madame Glam colours, perfect white, perfect pink, boardwalk, and this one is called Shaka. And it's a little, like a milky kind of sheer, yeah, milky kind of pink. I really like it. And I've pulled out pink, white and the silver chrome gel paints from Madame Glam. You can get 30% off Madame Glam, guys, using my code UNPOLISHED30. It's always in my description box with a link to the website. So, I'm giving all the nails except one, two coats of this shaka. I will show you both coats, just so you get an idea of the kind of coverage you get. So, yeah, can you see it's... Um, yeah, it's a really nice milky pink. I love how this looks. kind of gives you that builder gel or acrylic kind of look, especially when you do it in matte. And this one is having a coat of, was this boardwalk or perfect pink? I can't remember, I just missed it. <laughs> but that's a nice baby pink as well. So this is the second coat of Shaka, and I'm curing each coat for 30 seconds. So yeah, I say my dream holiday would be Disneyland, Florida. It's actually a toss up. I would absolutely love to go on an African safari. I really couldn't, if I had a choice of the two, I would have to toss a coin because I couldn't decide. Total polar opposites of each other, but yeah, my favourite holidays would definitely be Safari or Disneyland, Florida. So I'm going to do a bit of stamping. I've matte top coated that nail because I'm going to put, be putting some pigments on and you don't want a tacky layer when you're stamping with pigments. So I've pulled out a few plates. That one there is just full of little balls and stuff. And I've pulled out a couple of my Mickey plates. I wanted to stamp somewhere the word love. I didn't know where they were going at this point. And I wanted to stamp the castle. Because um, obviously that represents kind of Disneyland, doesn't it? I love that heartbeat monitor kind of image as well. So today I'm going to use this Moira stamping polish. A few people have asked me about it and I've never used it. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go today. So it's foil polish for stamping. So it's, it's like the She Modern sticky stamping polishes. So I'm using um, a little white pigment, little white sparkly pigment, and that's what I'm going to sprinkle on this stamped image. So I'm going with the castle first. I'm using the white Moira sticky stamping polish. I'll call it sticky stamping polish, but it's actually called foil stamping polish for foils. So I'm just going to stamp that in the middle of the nail, and then I'm just going to sprinkle this pigment straight into it. Um, I'm just going to pat it in with my finger, and I do, I do leave it for a minute on my desk, just to let it dry before I brush all that excess off. Um, yeah, and it worked. The pigment stuck to it. It had a little sparkle to it. It worked. I haven't used it with foil yet. I'll have to give that a go at some point. So now I'm going to stamp that word D. I wanted to write the word Disney down the nail. Um, so I stamped this word D in black. I should have stamped it in silver. I don't know why I went for black because I'm going to be doing it in silver. I'm going to be going over it with silver chrome paint. But anyway, I've stamped the D for Disney, and then the rest of it, I've had to freehand. I was really happy with it as well, guys, until I got to the letter M at the end, and I kind of bodged it up a bit, but it was fine. So I'm just going to go over the D with Madame Glam's silver chrome paint. This chrome paint as well, it cures with a glossy surface. It's not sticky or tacky. It is brilliant for matte surfaces, matte nails like this. So if you can see slightly sketched out in pencil is the rest of the words. I just wanted to space them out and get the spacing right on them. So I'll let you watch this for a second and I'll be back.
So that's it done. Can you see my letter M? It's just slightly, slightly leaning to the right. Urgh, done my head in that did, but I wasn't doing it again. No way. <laughs> so this is what would be the pinky nail. And I'm just covering this in the silver chrome. I'm just using a dotting tool and just covering it in, in dots. This silver chrome paint from Madame Glam is beautiful. I love working with it. It's really nice. So silver chrome paint again, and I'm just going to do a line just to separate this castle from the bottom half of the nail. And now I'm using white and the pink and I'm, I'm using the same pink as what I've put on the pinky nail and I'm just going to do some pink and white stripes on the bottom half of this nail and then once I've cured them I'm going to give them a matte top coat and I'm going to go over that silver line again because wiping it with alcohol has took that shine off the chrome so yeah I'll do that again So now I'm going to stamp this word love. I'm doing the one without a bow, so it's kind of Mickey's head, isn't it? I'm using silver this time because, again, I'm going to go over this with the silver chrome. As I wanted all the silver parts to look the same, and this didn't, this didn't quite look the same. So, yeah, I ended up going over this with the silver chrome paint as well. What I do first is I top coat it just to protect that stamping polish and then I'm going to go over it with the chrome so that's me looking at it and thinking no it doesn't look right it needs to be the same it definitely needed to be the same so yeah I'm just going to quickly go over this with the chrome now and cure that for 60 seconds So I'm just going to paint the bottom half of this now, As I've seen especially Home of Diva, she does this a lot, she paints the bottom half under the word love and I just think it looks really effective so yeah quick coat of pink under this and that's going to get cured for 30 seconds. That love work looks so much better with the chrome doesn't it? So again I'm going to matte top coat the bottom half of this nail as well. Right guys, I lost the end bit of footage, so I'm going to stick a couple of pictures up. That was then more or less finished. I just added a couple of gems and a little bow under the castle. But anyway guys, that is it for today. Don't forget to check out the playlist of all the other ladies that took part on YouTube and Insta. Playlist will be pinned in my comments and there will probably be a list of everyone that took part in my description box. But yeah, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And hopefully I'll see you all back in my next one. Take care, bye.